guys, um, this is Emilio Hansen here, and I'm going to show you how to make a map for a feral heart using GIMP. Um, you can make maps with um, with GIMP and Photoshop. I have not personally done it with Photoshop, but it's probably not hard. So as you see here, this is a map that I've done before. Um, rather simple as you can tell it just looks rather bland but when you are actually playing on it it's not really that bland so what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna start out completely new we're gonna go up here to file and this is for most windows computers we're going to go up here to file click file up here we're gonna click uh, new alright now we're gonna set the width and the height to 513 513 it has to be 513 513 because if it's not it just won't register and it won't work to make your maps bigger you have to manually when you are on feral heart map maker you have to manually um, go from there and make it bigger using that so we're gonna click OK alright we have our uh, whoops we have our new map here now okay so as you can see um, on this one here everything is gray you have you know either whether or not it's a whitish gray or if it's like really dark gray is gray um, they're all gonna be like that um, like all your maps it's the only way you can get it to work you can't use any other colors but gray um, but if you make a mask, which I'll do tutorial on that, if you make a mask, then it will be able to, we'll go, I'll show you then. You can change the color of your ground using masks. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to photo bucket over here, and you're going to go down here to this color box, and you're going to click a good mutual looking gray. So we're going to say this one here. Alright, so we have this. You're going to go over here to paintbrush. Alright. You can go back over here now. The lighter the color, the um, bigger the hills, uh, making them mountains. Um, the darker the color, the deeper the hole. If it's pitch black, there's gonna be a big hole there. And with that being said, it's harder to put in water because it could fill up the whole ground. Then, so you have to be careful when making height maps. So we're gonna click. Um, a deeper gray here we'll say that one here and we're just gonna draw a little pond here okay we'll make a little pond and then maybe we'll um, let's make it a little bit bigger maybe we'll put maybe a river here oh okay when you just when you mess up go up here to edit undo paintbrush tool to fix that uh, let's put another pond river on that side we're gonna put like a little river thing here on the ends of them okay alright and then you're gonna go back over here and we're gonna insert some mountain like features so again we're gonna click our color we're gonna click the uh, lighter color for mountain features and say we wanted a little hill right here we're gonna we're gonna do this so we put a little hill on the side here alright maybe put one on the other side I like to make mine more of a border alright uh, let's put some mountains in here alright and when you do this I know how it's gonna be bulgy so like here's the tip of the thing that's gonna be the tip on each side but it's gonna be since it's out far as it is it's going to uh, it'll be rather uh, it'll be rather thick alright okay so we have our mountains and we have our water and our hills and our lakes. Um, another thing I like to do is I like to put uh, hills everywhere and to put like small little hills everywhere I like to put dots because 
they're small, they're easy, and they just it just seems easier. <laughs> so we put our dots there, and let's say we wanted some kind of ocean area. We'll put like an ocean thing here, and so we're gonna color this in right here. messed up there. I'm going to have to fix that now. So as you can see, you know, it doesn't take very much for you to make a map. Now what I like to do is, see, with these hills, how they are, they will just drop off. They won't be blended in or anything to the ground. So what I like to do is, is I like to go over here to this little eyedropper tool thing, this, uh, looks like a teardrop actually it's called the blur slash sharpen tool you're going to click that um, and then you're going to take it over here and you're going to just blur everything um, this helps better when you're making if you're making like line maps or something like that um, it just it uh, looks better when stuff is blended together um, if you don't want it blended, you don't have to have it blended, it just looks better when it is. Um, so, especially around the ponds, you always want your ponds to be blended. Alright. Gonna blur that. Okay. Alright, so you have your map here. So you're gonna go to save it. Um, and there's different ways you can save it going to go over here to file and export all right you're going to i'm going to you want going to title it i'm just going to title mine test um terrain all right you're going to go to your local disk your feral heart folder you're going to go to your media folder, I believe, yeah, and you're going to go down to terrains, and you want to save it in here because if you don't save it in terrains, it's not going to work. You're going to make sure that your image is a PNG, so make sure that it's nothing else because if it's not PNG, it won't work. Alright. You're going to click, our, uh, I always just set mine on these three things. I don't I don't mess with these up here and mine comes out with good quality so I'm gonna click export alright now we're gonna open up our feral heart here Okay, so when you get your feral heart open, yours might look a little bit different. I have a uh, setting so that it's different. But you go down here to tools, you go to map maker, you're going to go over here to world, up here on this top one where it says terrain height map, you're going to backspace that and click in the name of yours. Now what you want to do is you don't press enter because enter is not going to do anything but if you click like on objects for making a new tab it will show your terrain that you just made with GIMP. And so here is my pawn. As you can see I have my little thing there. Here's my pond. There's my mountains around my pond. Here's my little classy hills. It looks like some of them I missed when I went around sharpening them. Um, but notice how white mine was when I did it, and look how big of a hill this is. So if you don't want it that big, you can always, you know, arrange it to where it's not. Because, see, here's these mountains here that are now blended in. See? So the mountains look really good. Um, as you can see, though, since the way I did it, um, you can see how it was brought out right here. So you have to be careful of that. Alright. So, I'm going to click out of that. Um, that. This is my first video um, as far as tester uh, 
this terrain. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to make a part two. If you have any questions, please just ask. I'm Emilio Hansen. Thank you. Goodbye.